Hey guys, what's going on? It's Robbie here from Chopping Steel. Uh, it is Friday as I'm recording this video. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here in Massachusetts. And in this video, I wanted to uh, go over just a little tip when it comes to uh, anytime you're doing power snatches or power cleans. All right. Um, a lot of times when people are first starting out with their power snatches and power cleans, um, there's one mistake that I see a lot of people make. Um, and in this video, I want to show you how you can correct it. Okay. Um, so uh, anytime someone does a power snatch or a power clean, a lot of times what they think um, when they first start out is because it's not a squat clean or not a squat snatch, they don't have to get under the bar. So uh, and a lot of times what happens is when they do that movement, they're catching it too tall. All right? They're trying to bring that bar to them as opposed to getting underneath the bar. So um, what I want to show you what that looks like and, to, and we can fix it from there. So uh, from here, a lot of times what people will do is when they do their power snatch, okay, this is what we'll see. All right, so from here, they start here, they come up, hit the hip crease, and they bring it all the way up to the full extension, okay? Now you'll notice when I did that, all right, I'm not bringing any uh, hips going into it. There's no hip drive involved. So uh, that's a problem, okay, because when anytime we do a power clean, power snatch, anytime move it, all your power comes from your hips. So if I'm coming here, trying to muscle it up, okay, I'm not getting that hip drive that I should, okay? So, same thing with the power clean. If I were to come from here, I see a lot of this sometimes. They come here, they drive up, hit, all right? And notice my hips are fully extended before I even bring the bar up, okay? Now, what we want to make sure of, all right, is that we meet the bar, okay? We don't want that bar coming to us. We want to get underneath the bar. So, uh, to fix that, okay, you want to think about as you bring that bar up, okay, you want to be, uh, getting underneath it. So an example of that is when I start, my hips are closed, all right, I open my hips up and then I reclose them, okay? So it's uh, closed, open, closed, okay? So when I do my power snatch, now at this time I'm gonna get underneath that bar and this is what that's gonna look like, okay? So here, notice here I come up, all right, hips are closed, I open them up, reclose them, now I'm underneath that bar. And look how much quicker that was, okay? So here, Closed, open, closed, okay? That's the position you want to be in. Get underneath that bar as quick as you can. Same thing on the clean. So when I come from here, hitting, closed, open, closed. All right, so you're going to need that bar at a time. So here, closed, open, closed. All right, guys, so that's one little tip that's going to help you out when it comes to your power snatches and power cleans. All right, that way, next time you're doing a little bit more weight, You'll know you can get under that bar, right? It's okay to get underneath that bar. Anytime you do a power clean, as long as your hip crease is above your knee, it's still a power clean, okay? So you can get as low as you can, uh, almost to the point of just being above uh, hip crease. So uh, that's a tip for the day, guys, and we will see you next time in the next video.